This film supplements the instructions for use and serves to aid understanding. This film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use. It is also not a replacement for mandatory instructions or training courses. The Draker PSS Airboss system includes PSS Airboss Agile, a full face mask Draker FBS 7000, a lung demand valve LDV, and a compressed air cylinder. To attach the cylinder to the carrying system, place the SCBA on the table, open the cylinder strap, and push the cylinder through the strap. Adjust the length of the strap to fit to the cylinder diameter, but do not tighten it. Align the cylinder valve and the pressure reducer's hand wheel and connect them. Do not use tools or over tighten. Tighten the cylinder strap using the strap fastener. To remove the cylinder, first check whether the cylinder valve is closed and then follow the reverse procedure. Any approved cylinder can be used together with the Draeger Quick Connect system. Simply thread on the Quick Connect adapter. Do not use tools or over tighten to allow for easy removal in case the cylinder needs to be used with an SCBA that is not equipped with Draeger Quick Connect. To attach the cylinder to the carrying system, place the SCBA on the table, open the cylinder strap and push the cylinder through the strap. Adjust the cylinder strap. Align the cylinder valve and the quick connect on the reducer and push the cylinder valve down. Tighten the cylinder strap using the fastener. To remove the cylinder, first check whether the cylinder valve is closed. Open the cylinder strap, push down on the quick connect hand wheel and make a quarter turn. The cylinder will be released only if the complete SCBA is depressurized. When considering using two cylinders on the PSS Airboss Active, please consider this. EN137 limits the complete weight of an SCBA to 18 kilograms. In this video, an approved combination of two 6.8 liter Type 4 cylinders is shown. Before starting the attachment, check the threads of the cylinder valve port and the pressure reducer. Fit the required T-piece onto the reducer. Adjust the cylinder strap for two-cylinder use. Insert the first cylinder through the strap loop from the top. And attach the cylinder to the T-piece on the carrying system. Then you tighten the hand wheel of the T-piece to the cylinder using only the thumb and index finger until a definite metal-to-metal -metal contact is felt. Do not use tools or over tighten. Do the same with the second cylinder. Now take up the slack in the cylinder strap and pull to operate the strap fastener. To remove the cylinders, first check whether the cylinder valves are closed and then follow the reverse procedure. The LDV is available with different connector pieces to meet different needs and regulations. Depending on the LDV style, the connection method to the mask differs. The LDV is connected to the SCBA with a quick release coupling QRC. This eases connecting and disconnecting under pressure. The LDV is connected and locked by simply pressing the grommet into the coupling sleeve. The decoupling is achieved by a double acting removal mechanism and prevents unintentional separation of the LDV from the SCBA to actuate the coupling sleeve. Press the grommet into the coupling sleeve along with the sliding ring at the same time. This unlocks the LDV. Multi-attachment points on the shoulder strap and the waist belt allow the 
easy attachment of other pieces of equipment, like the pouch for the Drake Apparatus escape hood, D-rings, or just the LBV holder. of the PSS Airbus. All shoulder and waist straps should be fully extended. The PSS Airbus can be adjusted to the wearer's height in three steps before or during use. To don the SCBA, put the carrying system on one shoulder first, followed by the other. Close the buckle of the waist belt and pull ensuring the set sits comfortably on your hips. Finally, tighten the shoulder straps, leaving a space between the shoulder and the harness to allow freedom of movement, and fold the strap ends inwards if required. When positioned correctly, you should be able to reach over your head without any problem. The waist belt should be able to pivot with your movements. Your coat should not be pulled up when bending down. The weight of the SCBA should be on your hips, not your shoulders. Extend the straps of the full face mask head harness. Place the chin part of the mask on your face, then gently push onto your face and adjust it by pulling the lower strap straight back first and pulling the upper straps afterwards. Ensure that the middle strap is centered at the top of your head. the red button. Slowly and fully open the cylinder valve anti-clockwise. During pressurization, a momentary sounding of the whistle will occur and the pass device is activated. Fully close the cylinder valve. After one minute, check the gauge. It should show a pressure drop of less than 10 bar. If so, connect the LDV to the full face mask. Breathe normally while monitoring the gauge. Once the gauge shows 60 to 50 bar, the low pressure warning whistle should sound and the pass device sounds an alert and its red LED starts flashing. Continue breathing until the pressure gauge shows zero bar. Inhale and hold your breath. There must be no noticeable air ingress. Otherwise, check the mask fit. Open the cylinder again. Once the pressure gauge shows zero bar, the pass device should go into full alert. At the end of an SCBA operation, the SCBA needs to be fully depressurized and the pass device needs to be switched off by holding both buttons. Otherwise, the pass device will stay active and go into motionless alarm once left alone.